It was great. That was like yeah. Singularity, a conference down in Melbourne. It was great. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, we went out um, drinking till about four or five in the morning. Yeah, so that was the best part. It was, it was just... awesome. We were just shooting ideas, talking about the most crazy stuff. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but how often do you actually get to talk to people about you know exponential technology and AI and stuff? And all this like, growth without explaining it. Yeah. But, well, no, see, computers have actually changed a lot like since 10 years ago. Yeah. They, they used to be like, like slow up. Uh, down in Melbourne, we actually, there was a collective sigh at one point where everyone said, you know, oh, I'm so glad we can have this talk without having to describe the basis. Describe stage. all this stuff and just use the terminology. Yeah. Oh. But so yeah, know. guys, watching this, please, like, talk to us about it. Yeah. Shoot your ear off. Not literally. Because pretty much, we're like, uh, we're like the only people in the long run that we know of. There's a few others. Where? Oh, friends of ours. friends of ours. Two, yeah. yeah. Two. Two. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> four. On that depressing note. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just finish on there. He's just saying that um, everyone's kind of, they're moving in on this collective intelligence thing, and that's what the internet still needs to work out. I mean, the internet is collective. It's everyone just throwing ideas at, at each other. And it's it's kind yeah. of like, I mean, innovation first started with, you know, small little groups of just word of mouth. But now we can actually spread it instantly the around the world. world I mean, anyone. you just say, oh, it's that thing of the hashtag, the thing of the idea of economy and all of that again, that you get a lot of people all in the same, sharing the same ideas, combining it. Yeah, the ideas they'll create will be world changing. Not literally, even, not even the same idea. Actually, uh, same yeah area. Actually, arguing is a good... Yeah. Like, we found that here. Oh, like, oh, yeah. We actually specifically love to argue with people because you learn a lot from them. Because yeah. actually, you start arguing with someone who has a different point of view, even if you play the devil's advocate and you just, yeah. you know, you you know fake your point of view and they'll start pushing yeah. ideas at you that you hadn't thought of before. Well, see, and that's great. And, and just, I, yeah, finding people who have that base level. Like, I mean, so much in a, down in Melbourne and all of that was yeah. just arguing with people yeah. about the different ideas. And then we came up with a few platforms or a few ideas we could have together. We're like, okay, let's work on ideas based on that. And that's great. You, you establish a platform as you start to argue and you get to know people. It's just there's still not, it's still today even, is not a good enough platform to collaborate with the people in Melbourne. No, it's still difficult. There, there's it's, no site text, to do that yet, text which will videos. happen probably in the next few years, which um, I mean, that's not one of my big predictions, but I only have one prediction each. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, really one? I got like, I did, yeah. I did year by year type thing. Okay. No, I only have one, <laughs> one for five, ten, and twenty. Or else we'll get them all too wrong. Um, is this the final one? This is my last one. This yep, one. yep. Okay, just a little bit of fun stuff before we get into the prediction. Um, the UN, the United Nations, has appointed an ambassador for Earth if aliens ever come. Yeah. <laughs> um, it is an obscure Malaysian astrophysicist. Uh, he's called... <laughs> what? Malaysian. It's an obscure Malaysian astrophysicist? Yes. He Why? Is to act as the Earth's first contact for aliens that may come visit him. I don't know, he, he wanted to do it, I guess. <laughs> he is no. the head of the UN's little-known Officer for Outer Space Affairs. Ooh, it's got an acronym. UNOSA. UNOSA. No. Okay. He's called Maslan Offman. Anyway, I just thought this was kind of cool, but we now have an ambassador to aliens. Pretty cool. Yeah. Who's the fun. dude, um, who's the snakes in a plane guy? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. He should be our ambassador nah. to Earth. He, he's, a, he's a celebrity. He doesn't know anything about... But he'd be like, I'm sick win. of these motherfucking aliens invading... <laughs> <laughs> of this motherfucking spaceship Earth. God damn it. <laughs> That's all the snakes on our spaceship. Because mm. <laughs> we gave the name snakes to them. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Singularity topic. Singularity. Yay. Hey, this week um, we're going to do predictions because we actually, when we said, oh, next week we'll do, we'll do our 5, 10, 20 year predictions. Yeah, we were down in Melbourne. Yeah, we didn't realise that the week, that week we were going to be down in Melbourne mm. and therefore we wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> and then yeah, we had to recover for like a week because we were, we were out drinking Friday, Saturday, God, Sunday a night. plane at like 6 in the morning. Yeah. Okay, dr drinking Friday, Saturday, Sunday night, 12 hour day Saturday, 12 hour day Sunday and sleeping in a hostel, which you don't get any sleep in a hostel. People had sex on top of his bed. Under. Under his bed. No, oh, you were on top. That's right. You were getting shaken. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing in that situation? Participated in the collective orgasm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do not watch. <laughs> Me malicious. I'm not going to Melbourne to get AIDS. Really? I've heard they've got pretty good AIDS down there. I ha apparently there's a pie shot where you can get like a blowjob and a pie at the same time. We should have gone there. That's Melbourne for you. <laughs> Gotta get to Melbourne. 
Anyway, so where were we? Um, shall we do it? We'll do <laughs> 5, 10, 20 year predictions. Yes. Moving on from blowjobs and pies. Yeah, there's so much. Like, oh, gee. Nah, we only have one. There's so, so much. We could go on forever. Say. We could, like, speak for hours on this. Okay, who's going to... Well, we'll do it. Why don't we do it together that we'll both say our five year prediction and then talk about it? Shall we hold hands as we do this? I'm gonna punch your hand. <laughs> what, what, okay, what, five years. Yours, you okay, go first. my one. Five years, I think we're gonna start to see the beginning of the platform for the hot overlays. Really? Hmm. Hard story, five years. Mm. Mm. I think so. I, I think that the platform's gonna start to be there. The plat- in what sense? In the sense that, I mean, phones are going to be keep on developing and stuff. Uh, well, see, I think, see, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I, I want to say maybe, I don't think the hardware thing will be there, but the whole augmented reality and all of that through your phone and everything, people are going to start saying, hey, there's a lot of information here. Why don't we move this a little bit more onto the onto well, so eyes that's, directly? Well, that's the thing. It's already here, isn't it? On phones. Yeah, not, not enough, though. It's not like a major thing. It's only very extreme. I think that's going to become a major part of the whole augmented reality. Yeah. Uh, and I think, see, I was tossing up between five and ten years. I think around five years we're going to start seeing the developing of the platform. The same way that we saw, say, like the Windows phones that didn't really do anything until the iPhone mainstreamed it. Right. But I think we're going to start to see more of that coming now. Like, we're already starting to see, like, prototype pro- products. And yeah. um, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll start to see something that's actually going to really just use the augmented reality stuff on the headset to actually do stuff around. Okay. What's your... Yeah. Well, well, I think the, the hardware kind of needs to precede the platform, doesn't it? I know. It's, it's augmented. Like, you're already starting to do it with your phone. I mean, I, it's yeah. the same as the moving the computer onto the mobile phone. That took a long time. And people were like, oh, why would you need it? And you had, like, the crappy Windows phones or the, the other smartphones and stuff. And then, like, you know, BlackBerry hit their stride with just doing business stuff. Yeah. I think we'll start to see in five years a, a few things starting to happen with more augmented reality. I mean, yeah. we're already seeing it in Lego shops and all of that. Augmented reality yeah, is big. Yeah, that's a cool video. Yeah. Uh, someone on the, yeah, on the YouTube channel posted that. Mm, that's um, a good one. There's also um, Steve Mann. He's pretty much the proponent. He's like... Oh, God, yeah, recording he, your life. He's the father of uh, HUD OLEDs. Cool. Apparently, he has these, like, uber cool, like, just, you know, normal-looking glasses that record stuff. Mm. Like... But yeah, he showed me that. But he's not selling them. Why aren't? Yeah, sell them. Why man. aren't you selling them? Well, the, the basic idea that we've had before that the first thing you should be doing is just recording your entire life with it. I mean, that's another thing that I think in five years, flash memory is going to be cheap enough that you can record nearly your whole day and everything yeah. just there. You don't need right on there. flash memory. You just need a fast enough bandwidth. Yeah, but well, I say I don't think that will happen in five years. I think flash will happen within five years. No, no, no. Yeah. Dude, what? Hey, really? Have you been? Kid- Telstra this year is bringing out 84 megabit per second 4G. No, oh, that won't happen for a while. Even they're coming there. It's not, you still want to save it to the H- to HSPA the thing. 2 yeah, or something. Yeah, I, I don't trust Telstra enough to um, actually have that going there. Maybe Japan, Korea and all of that. Just just not here. Five years to actually have yeah. streaming video to the web. I but mean, like, the, the, basic, basic video, but I'm talking like, you know, better video. The the same end, 4G. Yeah. That's, that's by the end of like this year or next year. I don't trust it. Well, you'll just stream it straight to the web and store it on okay, Have you seen with your phone how how difficult it is to actually get a constant signal? Imagine if you didn't have yeah. any flash memory and all of that on there. Mine's like one and a half years old. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It's not the network. It's your phone. It's the network that hasn't it, that makes a difference. I'm the same with the iPhone 4, which is the greatest piece of technology yeah. out at the moment. Well, I guess apparently. we are in the backwater that is Australia. No, technology. but even with 3G, we're in, a, we're in a major city and all of that. And so it's where... I, I still don't think no, streaming. Major I, city. That is a major city. Uh, and uh, we're the ninth largest in Australia. So there. Okay. And then, yeah, I think it's going to be flash memory recording a lot there. But yeah, I think five years we're going to start to see um, augmented reality come around everywhere. Maybe the, the headset stuff. Okay. My uh, five year prediction is I'm sure you could guess this <laughs> uh, recommendation engines. Nice. Yep. Uh, okay, because well, we're seeing the trends now. It's. Everywhere. What? Well, yeah. What? What do you mean by recommendation engine? Because there already are recommendation engines. Uh, I'm talking about like near perfect recommendation engine. Like to the point where I, I think actually within five years, if people actually, it see it depends on how how much particular industries actually go down this path. I think Google is with their prediction API and a bunch of other people, but in five years, reckon recommendation engines will be so sort of mature that you won't you won't need to search for information anymore. 
maybe maybe five percent of your time spent on life, five ten percent will be actually searching for information. The rest of the time, you'll just be given it. Kind of like now with Facebook, how that's the most visited website apart from Google. How you, you're just what? given stuff from you don't search for anything on Facebook. You just get given what happens with but, your friends. Yeah, no, in, in a sense, but I'm, I'm talking about, like, you go on Facebook and, like, most of it you just hate. Just don't care, yeah. I'm talking about stuff you love, like, every single piece of, all, like, I was about to merge what is there. Every, every single piece of uh, information is almost orgasmic in the sense that this is, like, amazing, amazing. You know you know when you get those moments where you actually come across a piece of information, a video, oh, or you an have article? to get out of your seat. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, wow, this is, I've never thought of this before, or this is, like, so up my alley type thing. Like, right, I right, love yeah. this. This is awesome. This is perfectly suited to me. Well, you, don't, you never think that. You think... No, of course. You just think yeah. this is fantastic, but you get those mindgasms. Yeah. That, I think that'll be, the, that'll be mainstream in five years. Because we're looking at looking at now, um, what all these social networks are doing at the moment, and the problem is no one knows what to do with the data, but they're collecting like every single click. You go onto Facebook, every time you make an interaction, every single click, they're logging it. Yeah. They're logging the time and what you did and where you came from before that. Yeah. Every single like box, every single social plugin, Facebook social plugin you see on any site, anywhere on the web, they're logging. You visited this site at this time and did this. Cool. That's like awesome. right now. Yeah, they're it, doing it, that. They right really now do have the data because there's nothing technical involved in that. It's just cookies. It's simple yeah. stuff. They're logging it all. They're not telling you they're logging it. They what? probably are in their terms of and service. And it'll probably be just an incremental advance. Like I mean, we already have the recommendations now. Say yeah. like, well, Reddit is probably the best example. I think of a recommendation engine. We, we've and talked about this. Yeah, yeah. before that. They're filtering mechanisms, but there's going to be we each can an have actual algorithm, algorithm because at the moment they're still very socially based. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? And then it'll move into five years. We'll start to see the development of a platform that's more algorithm based. Yeah, I think so. Well, so, it, it it could be just it won't be one particular thing that will do it. It'll be like everyone will just move in towards this general direction. Yeah, but see, once you once you actually start that ball rolling. Oh, I can't stop. It, you can't stop. Because so uh, you, awesome. you look at the latest Twitter um, redesign at the moment. That's great. And it looks pretty cool. And they're actually moving towards integrating content and the apps into their platform. So mm. that you don't have to go to other websites. I mean, you, you do still, but I mean, very soon you won't need to. Yeah. You just, you stick in Twitter and you just, here's what I want, here's what I want, here's what I want. And I mean, once you can actually, once any of those big sites, Twitter, Facebook, you know, Mm, dig <laughs> Reddit <laughs> any of those big sites actually start rolling on a really cool recommendation engine where you know fuck even like you know 10 20% of the, the stories are actually you love yeah. like people will notice that and yeah start going and they will go there and they will follow well, I mean that's why I think like Reddit's gone so well is that it's always continuously growing because it actually is quality I mean, maybe a little bit less recently, but it's, it's yeah. been going good. It's, it's because of the subreddits, because you, you're minimizing... Because mm. each individual person, even though you can... I think if you track um, an individual from their birth to where they are now, you could in, you could very easily know what they want next. Yeah, what you could say. Well, it's the idea of convergence. Yeah. I mean, how we've said it before, that I mean, everything converges towards one thing. That If you think about now, the PC, the personal computer, yeah. that what's happened is that there are all these different programs, but they all have sort of converged into the one program, which is the browser. The browser has become yeah. the one program. And so what we're probably going to see with the web and all of that is it'll roughly converge again to just one thing. And the yeah. one thing could actually be the, that there. Well, I, I don't think we'll see it in five years. I think we'll see the beginnings of it in five years. The snowball... Oh, uh, no, I, I, I think, I think um, OS, uh, web OS browsers will be the mainstream in five years. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm saying the actual recommendation engine, I, I think we'll start to see the snowball in five years. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, well, on the other point, I was, I, I'm amazed we're still operating on desktops. Mm. It is weird. Yeah, it should be just it's a browser. It's so old. When, whenever you open up your browser, what's or your browser? <laughs> whenever there you go, say Whenever you open up your computer, what's the first thing you go to? Definitely the browser. Your first tab is Chrome. My first tab is Chrome. I got Chrome, Firefox, and this other thing, um, Lunascape. I can check all the different variations. But yeah. See, and then the only stuff I've got on my desktop is just stuff I'm messing with. Anyway, yeah, we, should, we should, should probably move on. We've been uh, yeah, going through yeah, a bit. But, um, 